Hello guys, this is a tutorial on how to make a continuous in loop that you can start with a button using wire mod. Okay, first we start off with a screen. Next, we're going to need a constant value with the value 1 being 8. We'll just put that right over to the side. Then we're going to need a button that's set to not toggle uh, off value 0 on value 1. Now we are going to need from gate logic the or any chip. We'll just place that right here by the button. Next we're going to need a time, chip time, then go to timer and put that right under the screen. Then we're going to need from chip memory the SR latch tool. I'll put that right by the screen there. Next we're going to need the from gate comparison the greater than chip. Okay now we start to wire. Go down to the wire mod. Okay. First of all, we will connect the screen to the timer to know what the timer is at. Then we will connect the run to the SR latch. The S goes to the or any chip. The A from the or any goes to the button. The B from the or any goes to the greater than. The B from the greater than goes to the constant value. The A from the con or greater than goes to the timer. The reset from the timer goes to the greater than. And the R from the SR latch goes to the greater than as well. So as you can see here, this will give you a quick tutorial on, or a quick view on how to uh, how to view how it's wired. Then we hit the button. It will climb up to 8 and then it will reset. Now if you have a sound emitter or anything of that sort you're going to want to wire that to the SR latch. If you want to make a loop that is. So we're going to start off with a siren tool. We're going to wire that directly to the SR latch. That will restart every eight seconds. And there you go. Hello again, this is Omicron here, and I just got done watching the video and decided that you expression guys would like a video as well. So we'll start off with a screen and a button that is set to toggle. And then we input the timer. Now we start with the expression. For the expression, inputs I put button and timer. For the outputs I put screen, run, and reset. Alright, for line one I put run equals in parentheses button if button if the button equals one, then output one, else output zero. In line two I put run equals reset. Or reset equals if the timer is above 8, then I'll put 1, else 0, and then that should do it for us. Now we put the chip right there, and then we start. We'll put we'll our button to the button, timer to the timer, run to the chip, and the output run, and then reset to the reset output. Now, screen goes to here and we hit the button and then we got it. When it gets to 8 it should automatically restart. Good times. Enjoy.